Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear second prep students, come back again with factorization and the second lesson perfect square trinomials. This is part one of the lesson, and let's study together how to factorize or how to know that trinomials is perfect square or not. This is part one. How to know the trinomial is perfect square or not. Let's remember together the word perfect square. Perfect square, it means this number or this term has two clear factors multiplied by each other gives me the factor. For example, 49x square. If we are going to make a root for 49x square, root for 49 is 7. Because 7 multiplied by 7 equals 49. 7 times itself equals 49. Okay? And x times x equals x squared. Because if this is power 1, add the powers 1 and 1. Both powers equals 2. So, the root for 49 is 7x. So, this is called the perfect square term. Another term. 25a squared. 25a power 2. Yeah, I have root for this value because 25 under below the root is 20, root 25a squared equals 5a. From where do we get this? From 5a times 5a equals 25a squared. So this term is called what? Perfect square trinomial. Or sorry, perfect square. For example, number like 9. 9. Can we get root of 9? Of course, root 9 equals 3, because 3 times 3 equals 9. This is a, a very short intro for the lesson today to get the idea of perfect square terms. Our example will be in the first like this. Example, 49x square plus 42x plus 16. The problem is like this, and I will ask you to factorize. From the beginning or in the beginning how can I know this is perfect square trinomial or not I have a secret or key key to know this is perfect square trinomial or not first term must be what must be perfect square or it has a root can I get root for 49 square root for 49 x power 2 yes 7 x by 7 x first term from 7x by 7x. Very nice. Next, you have to get a root for the third term. Or the third term must be perfect square also. Is the third term here 16? Perfect square? Yes. 4 times 4 equals 16. So this is the first two steps. Next to the middle term. Your middle term must be in a certain form, which is 2 time root of first time root of the third. Again, time root of first, 2 time root first time root third. Or it means 2 pi root the first term. The first term, its root is 7x. 2 times 7x time root third, which, which was 4. So 2 times 7, 14. 14 times 4 equals 42. And x, I don't have x, don't have x, drop x. Is the middle term 42x? Yes. So this is perfect square trinomial. Again, how to get that this trinomial is perfect square or not? I have the first must be perfect square. And the last must be perfect square. And the middle is, according to the rule, 2 by root first by root third. Let's complete and let's study the first kind of exercise according to this kind of factorization. Complete the missing term. Here in this kind of factorization, we are going to express a little bit different of examples, which is, we will give you the trinomial with a missing term. That term might be the first, might be the second, might be the, the third. That's very easy here to get the first or the second or the third according to these rules. We have here rules to get the first or the second or the third. 
If your missing term is the first term, so the first term equals the middle term squared over 4 by third term. Here I have the middle squared over 4 by third. If you need the first, the first equal middle squared over 4 by third. Here the first is missing. So the rule is the middle square, the middle square, which is 40 squared, 40y, 40y all to the power 2. Here the middle term is 40y. So 40y all to the power 2 over 4 multiplied by the third. The third is 25. You can get it on the calculator direct, but don't forget y, y squared. So I prefer to distribute the power over 40 and over y. So here, 40 power 2 is 1,600 and y to the power 2 is y power 2 over 100. You can simplify 1,600 over 100 on your calculator. You will get 16 direct and don't forget, sorry, to drop the y squared. So the middle term is here. Here is 16y squared. Next one. What about the third term? If they're missing here the third term, it's also very easy. You have a certain rule. Apply this or study it hard. You can solve any missing term. The third term huh, equals what? Middle square over 4 pi first. It is a it, little bit similar like the rule of the first. Here, if you need the third, middle square over 4 by first. If you need first, middle square over 4 by third. The rule is very easy. Here we have in this example middle square over 4 by first. Middle square is 60x. 60x all to the power 2 over 4 by first. 4 by 100x square. Don't forget you have to drop the number and it's simple with it. After getting the simplest form of everything, you will cancel x square with x square to be the simplest form, and this number on the calculator will be 9. So the third term here is 9. It's a very easy, by the way. Example number 3. If the missing term is the middle, again, I have another rule for the middle term, but this is a little bit different. The middle term equals positive or negative 2 times root of the first times root of the third. Again, positive or negative, two times root of the first time root of the third. Okay, I can get root of the first and root of the third before starting to solve this problem. Root of the first here, 9x squared. It means 3x. From where did we get this? From 3x by 3x equals 9x squared. So the root, it means take one of the two similar terms. So the root is 3x. Here, what is the root of 4? What are two numbers? Product to give me two, 4, 2 by 2. Yeah, so the root, I will take 1, 2. Root of the, the third, root 4, 2. Root of 9x square is 3x. And 2, this is for the root. So apply the rule, 2 times 3x times 2 equals 12x. Don't forget, you must draw positive or negative in front of the root because this is the perfect way to solve this is this is missing sign might be positive or might be negative follow me in part two after this thank you and goodbye